Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video on plasticity. Well, it's time to practice, right? So uh, we talked a little bit about the user interface and uh, I think it's time to just go in and model something, right? And uh, by doing so, you will get acquainted with the user interface, you'll get acquainted with the shortcuts and hopefully you'll have some fun, right? So let's start with a first object and I want that object to kind of be uh, inspired by the infinity symbol, right? So what we're gonna do is get rid of this guy, we're gonna click on it and we're gonna hit delete. And we're gonna start off with this circle. Now, if your circle doesn't look like mine, that's probably because there are options behind this button and you might have a different one selected, right? So the only thing you have to do is left click and hold your mouse and you'll get the options, right? And we want to have the one at the top here, the circle with the dot in the middle, right? Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to click in the center here and we're going to pull out that circle. Now, I want another circle in the middle, so I'm going to hit O on my keyboard for offset. We're going to grab this little yellow arrow and we're going to pull that in until we're somewhere around there. And we're going to click on OK. Looks good to me. OK. Now, uh, next up, we're going to create a rectangle. So click on this guy so we're nice and aligned. We're going to take a uh, rectangle right here. And again, take the one with the dot in the middle. Uh, so you can snap it to the grid here and it will work both ways. And if you want it perfectly straight, then hold down the shift key as you're doing so. And you will have a perfectly square, 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 square. All right. OK. And click. Now. I want to connect these two to each other, right? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up to the second symbol. And again, hold down your mouse, make sure you have the bottom one. And then we're going to go from this corner right here. And we're going to kind of go straight forward to about halfway. And then we're going to go up to this guy, right? So we'll kind of get a slight curve to it. And we're going to right click. Now I want this to be mirrored down here. So how do you do that? Make sure it's selected. We're gonna hit F on the keyboard for our finder. Then we're gonna type in mirror, click on it. And it's gonna ask us with this selected, where do we want to move it to? To the bottom, right? There you go. Very easy and click on okay. And if you do that, we now have a face in the middle, okay? Now, uh, we want to extrude this. So let's get rid of this top view right here. And we're gonna make sure we're in face mode and we're gonna click on this. We're gonna shift click on this and shift click on this, all right? And we're already in extrude. So we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna hit the tab key while we're doing that. So it's gonna go both ways. So now we've got something looking like this. Click on okay, and there you go, all righty. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this guy and then rotate it. So with this selected, we're going to hit Shift D to duplicate. All right. We're going to make sure we've got the rotation tool. That's R for rotate. This guy right here. And we're going to flip that like so. We're going to make sure it's perfectly at 90 degrees so it's nice and straight. And then we're going to flip it around like this. And that's going to be a perfect 180. Okay, now, now that we have these two, what we want to do is a Boolean operation, okay? So we're going to go to object mode, and we're going to click on one, and shift click on the other, and we're going to hit Q on the keyboard. And the Boolean operation that we want is an intersection, right? And uh, we want to make sure that it's inverted, right? I think so anyway, let me just uh, check, okay? So we're going to hit uh, shift E and click on OK, and we'll get something looking like this. And that is uh, pretty much what I was aiming for, right? Now, we can go in here now, we can right click, and uh, well, actually up here, we'll uh, select the edges, and we're gonna drag select, and then we are going to do a fillet. So I'm gonna pull right here, not too far, get something looking like this. And then we can go in here and hide all the curves, okay? And if you want to have, let's click on OK. If you want uh, to not see the lines in the back here, you can go up here, toggle X-ray mode and turn that off. 
And then if you want some nice material on it and some nice lighting, you go to the symbol on the right, this guy right here, which will give you a nice metal look, right? So that's uh, one way to do that. And um, yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well, right? Uh, if you have uh, request videos for objects you would like to see made in Plasticity, uh, please let me know. And uh, that said, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.